Alright, welcome back to the Java tutorial. Uh, this is the second video in a series of uh, tutorials in which I'm teaching you the Java programming language. So what we did in the last tutorial was went ahead and set up Java for uh, development use and also made a simple program that prints out uh, any string of text. So now what we're going to do is learn how to use an IDE or an integrated development environment to make the creation of programs a little bit easier. The program we're going to be using is Eclipse. So you go to www.eclipse.org, then go to Downloads, and click Eclipse 3.7, or whatever is the latest version for you. Um, we're going to be using the 64-bit, but if you have 32, go ahead and download that. It'll download uh, whatever is the closest version. Just go ahead and hit that one that you know is in giant purple text. Uh, we already have it downloaded, so I'll just stop that. It should show up in your Downloads folder as Eclipse. Alright, so we have that right there, this folder, and then you run this Eclipse fo uh, file. You don't need any install, you just run it right out of the file. So if we unzip this, then it should run properly. Uh, what I had, what I did it was uh, I went ahead and went to program files and unzipped it to this folder, uh, just so it's there and it's organized and everything. So if we go ahead and run Eclipse, it should start up. As you can see, that my current version is 3.7 or Indigo. Uh, but there may be something different for you. So um, uh, this is the environment we're going to be working in for the duration of the tutorial and for the uh, series of tutorials. Uh, this is basically uh, enables us to uh, easily create Java programs. There's a couple reasons for that, which I'll show you in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and create a file new Java project. We're basically going to be creating the Hello World app from last time, but we'll create it uh, just in Eclipse just to show you how it works. We'll type it, or we'll type hello world, and then right click it, hit new class, and then we'll type hello world. Alright, so now it's you can see it's already set up uh, some of the starting code for us, but we'll go ahead and uh, set up what we did last time. It's public static void main open parentheses and as you can see as we type in open parentheses it goes ahead and makes the closing parentheses just so you don't have to type that the same thing goes for quotation marks it'll add a different one at the end so uh, you don't have to do all that work yourself it's uh, very helpful when you're writing a lot of code but for now we'll just put string open bracket close bracket same thing with those brackets args all right we'll hit enter We'll do open squiggly bracket and it automatically adds a close one for us. Then we'll type system dot out dot print line uh, this is an effects dude seventy nine tutorial. Alright. And then we need the semicolon at the end. And this is our Java program from last time. Now, instead of having to go and compile all this, uh, what's nice about Eclipse is it has a compile and run system from inside the IDE. So if we hit this green arrow, it will compile it and then run it automatically down here at the bottom. So go ahead and hit OK, and it will say this is an FXD79 tutorial, and that will print out whatever you have to say. Now, uh, this is just basically how to use it. Uh, you can create more packages, more uh, Java files, and we'll get into that later. But uh, for now, this is how you set up Eclipse, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial if you want to continue coding.